Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping in again, and this time, we're on one streak of two, okay. Uh, who are we going to jump in as this time? It's been a while since we, did, since we did Job, I think. I can't remember how much we've got left to do as Tainted Job, but let's give it a go. I don't think we have many completion marks left to go as him. Actually, no, we have quite a lot. Okay, there's some characters that I'm, like, completely unaware of where we are. Unfortunately, you can't check a lot of the, um... A lot of the modded characters from the actual home screen, which is a little unfortunate because um, that's exactly what I was looking for. Uh, it's a little unfortunate because there's a lot of these modded characters there that I'm probably way lacking in my unlocks on that I could definitely do to um, try and understand where I'm at with them. Okay, let's try and um, utilize this a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to be able to. Night Bluer. Damn it. I tried to utilize it as much as I could, but <laughs> it's not always easy. It's not always easy. Um, as for the question of the day today, what are you playing at the moment? What game is are you big into? Because I only say it because um, I've been playing the new Call of Duty, which I actually really like. I know some people are like, oh, well, it's just basically a DLC, which it is, but it's a fun DLC, so I don't care. Um, oh, I'm taking some damage here. Oh, no, I'm not. That was a genius move. Um, but the new Warzone comes out. My god. I am a sucker. I am a sucker for Battle Royale. Like, it's, it's it seems probably weird to a lot of you guys that obviously have just sort of know me from my YouTube channel and the fact that I just play a lot of roguelikes, but um, first-person shooters have always been like sort of a big thing for me. Like, my first gaming experiences were on first-person shooters. The very first game that I played... Um, in terms of, like, that that was my game. Like, I played some other games before that, like Tomb Raider and the first Gran Turismo and stuff on PlayStation 1. But the very first game that I actually sort of played that was, like, my game. Oh, my God. Is that a golden version? Um, chance to fire at a tier with aggressive homing. I, d I wonder if, with it being gold, if it has double the chance. But either way, very, very good. Um, we're gonna just, gonna, just gonna grab both of these. We don't care if we lose them. Um, either way, good stuff. Um, yeah, my very first game was Enemy Territory Wolfenstein, um, which, oh my god, what a game. The Enemy Territory games, just amazing. I really, really, really enjoyed um, that game, and I still play it. Well, I, I won't say I play it regularly now because the servers are offline, but I will pop on it every now and again and play against bots and stuff, just just sort of for the nostalgia of it. I hate the fact that this, um, this enemy was one of those duplicating ones that made that a lot harder. <laughs> okay, let's be careful here because... Um, not in a great spot. Luckily, our mother's spine thing does do a good amount of damage if we can get it to hit. So what we do is we line it up here. There you go. Look, and it just poisoned all of them and killed them all straight away. I'm kind of tempted to use my bomb on this guy, honestly, because uh, this is looking to be a pretty tough fight, and I don't want to lose my... Um, I don't want to lose my... What's it called? Uh, rotten Heart, if I can help it. Honestly, the mother's spine is helping out so goddamn much right now. Okay, there you go. We, we got through it. It was a little bit rough, but we got through it. Um, and we accidentally re-rolled whatever that was into a key, which I'm actually pretty pleased about. Um, and I'm just going to take both of these. I'm not bothered about locking any of these in right now. Um, in fact, I think at this point, let's um, D100 us. And... Eh, I can't really say if that was better or worse, to be honest. Oh, wait, what? No! <laughs> this isn't what I wanted at all. Shit. I didn't realize this is what would happen. I didn't realize I wasn't ready. Dude, this this guy? Absolute pain in the ass of a, of a enemy to get in this room. The door's still open. I do, but the thing is, I'm like... Am I going to get another item for killing you? Can, can you just fuck off with your tail, mate? Just die! <laughs> There's two of them now, for fuck's sake. Oh, really? I used a bomb and it didn't do anything. I've not even got the mother spine to help me out anymore. Truly upsetting. I've done, like, no damage to the boss whatsoever. Stop spawning things. There's too much going on. I have, like, no damage. I have two point... No, 1.83 damage. Why did I re-roll myself? This was a very bad idea. <laughs> I'm going to be here for hours. What have I done? What have I done? 
Oh, stop spawning things, you big, big shit. I can't be dealing with this. Okay. That helps. That does not help, though. It's taking like five shots to kill these things. I think what's happened is I got experimental treatment which gave me a damage down and mum suppository which also gave me a pretty big damage down. So now I've just got like absolutely no damage. Which yeah is just hilariously bad. Can we get rid of these bloody extras please? This is the this is the most horrific fight I've ever I've ever had taken part in. Just die. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. Do I get an extra item for this? You watch, I won't, will I? Okay, no, I did at least. Good. I I have to say, I have to say, I heavily regret my choices with that D100. I was like, these items are shit. Let's just re-roll them and try again. No, 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 no. Oh, right. Okay, it did, it did get rid of the one that was giving us a major damage down. So at least now our damage is bad, but not abysmal. Um... <laughs> So that's something at least, but I'm still not particularly pleased. Uh, at least we still keep our trinket. I did not know that the D100 would work like that in a boss room. Right. Dude, our items are just not very good right now. There's nothing I want to keep so far. Secret disc. Yeah. Try and keep it together. Baleful Heart, nice. But yeah, those those classic gaming experiences. Oh man. Just I have so much nostalgia for that time. Like I that was when I was like seven and eight years old that I was first playing that. Like so I like first person shooters just baked into my blood now. Um so I, I ended up playing a lot of uh, Call of Duty, and I still do. T why was that a tears down? It was a question mark and a tears down. This run. This run is something else, man. <laughs> this run is chronically terrible. I have made many mistakes. I have made many mistakes. Right. Ghosties, help me out by not going for the goddamn flies, please. Okay, it doesn't matter. Oh my god, stop going for the flies, ghosties. Good, there you go. I knew you could do it if you tried. Okay. Mr. Dolly, um... Technically, I'm not... I don't think I should keep either of these, really. They're, they're both good, but... Whatever. This I will keep. That I will keep. Right, okay. Down we go. This has been this has been harrowing. Not heroin. Harrowing. That's the word. Not heroin. This has not been heroin. Oh no, I lost my range. What am I ever gonna do without that? But slick spade's good stuff. Slick spade allows us to get some tear effects going that I quite like. Tears down again. I'm very, very displeased about the tears down of this of this whole situation. Also, we're a minus, minus 2.5. Look, why? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> Fuck me, that reroll was just horrendous. Absolutely abysmal reroll. Oh my god, I want another one. I, I would like a refund on my reroll, please. <laughs> Give me a dice room, although I don't have keys to make use of a dice room, so it's not that usable right now, but just just please give me something to to make me feel. <laughs> I'm honestly, our goddamn purgatory goats from our um from our from our heart right now are uh, stealing the show. Grab some pennies. I would like a key at some point, but don't know if I'm going to be getting that. Let's 
do that. So we've got some actual flies doing some stuff now. It's been rough, man. It's been rough. Okay. Lovely. That is a very good trinket, but the one we've got right now, I, I believe, could be better. I don't think right now, with the amount of luck I have, it's probably that good, but it has the chance to be better. I just don't want to lose this purgatory heart, whatever it's called. The baleful heart. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, I fucking... Mm, that was... That's a bad trip as well. Oh, my lord. This is a, a pretty a pretty struggle bus sort of run we've got going right now. Although Snake is a uh, Snake was doing some work there. I don't know how you're bleeding. I think that's slick spade maybe. Okay, I'm liking you giving me the extra money. That's 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 good stuff. I damage the I damage is so poor. Oh my god, and everything's just HP. <laughs> and I don't have a charge to keep Hellfire either. God damn it. This might be a hot restart, you know. This might this might just be I probably should have played that at Blood Bank over there. If this takes Hellfire off me, I will cry. Okay. But even then, Hellfire's not that good with the luck that we have, so... I don't know what to say, people. This is a bit of an iffy run. But yeah, is there a game like that for you guys as well, where you just remember it so fondly as, like, basically your childhood? I mean, there's quite a lot of games like that that I have that I just remember, like, so fondly. Like, one of them is... I can't even remember what it's called now. I can't remember the name of it. It's called, like... What the hell is it called? I can't remember. It's, it's called, like, Bad Teddy or something like that. It was, like, a PS2 game. The cover was, like, a, a teddy bear that was, like, all war-torn and, like, I don't know if he was holding a gun or something, but it looked, like, super angry. Um, and um, the, the objective of the game was, like, you played as all these different, like, teddy animals and you had to go and save, like, little baby versions. And you could play as, like, a little kangaroo dude. You play as a little teddy bear. Um, what the hell was that game called? It was, it was phenomenal. It was so good. It was absolutely amazing. It was such a good game, but I can't remember for the life of me what it was called. I remember the exact cover. I probably got the actual PS2 disc of it somewhere, I'd imagine. Um, but yeah, that is that is a game that I remember very, very fondly. What the hell was it called? Do you know what? Now, I'm going to have to actually go and have a little look, see if I can find it. PS2... Was it called, like, Bad Fur or something like that? No, that's Conker's Bad Fur Day that I'm thinking of. It's not that. Oh, wait! Fur Fighters! That's it! It's called Fur Fighters. I just saw it. This... One second, I'm going to have to pull this up now that I've been talking about it. Um... Can I just turn on display capture and it'll work? Display... There you go. Look at look at that. This game. Oh. This game was it like the 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 cover is very deceptive of what the game's actually like, I'll be honest. Um but oh my god, it's so good. Like if I could go back and play a PS2 game, it would be this game right here. It's so goddamn good. Like I just remember countless hours and replays of that game. Because it was definitely like a knockoff type game where it was like just a knockoff of some other games that are out there. Um, think of like Banjo-Kazooie sort of thing. It's that style of game where it's kind of like a collect-a-thon um, where you've got like various different missions to do and like you play as different characters and stuff. But it was it was really, really good and um, I, I remember playing it a lot. And I don't know why, that's just like unlocked an absolute core memory <laughs> of playing this game and... Now I want to bust out the PS2. Do you know what? One second. I'm going to have to go check to see if I still own this game. I need to know. One second. I'm not seeing it in my collection, which I'm very sad about. I was going to play it today, but... 
Do you know we're, we're on an adventure together here. We're on an adventure together. Let's see if we can let's see if we can find where I can buy it. Um, for fighters, where the hell would I buy it? Vigo's Revenge. I'm so into this now. Um, Vigo's Revenge. PS2 disc. eBay. Nine ninety nine is not too bad. Hmm. There's actually quite a few copies of it about. Okay. Okay. Now that I know that, I'm I'm more I'm more happy. I'm probably gonna buy that game again and go play it because I don't know why talking about it now is just completely just unlocked this memory. Oh, I hate brownies so much, but I need the damage. <laughs> My damage is so bad right now. <laughs> Even though brownie is despicable. <laughs> right. Oh, we have a key. Damn you, game. Damn you, game. What we need now is flight. More bombs. I really could use a key right now, though, not bombs. Oh, yeah, it's just... It's one of those games as well, I think, where, like, if I mention it, 95% of people I ever speak to about it, whenever... I'll, I'll randomly have a core memory about it, like, once a year. Um, but whenever I speak to people about it, like, even people that were, like, big into gaming during the PS2 era, they, no one knows what the hell I'm talking about. No one knows what game this is. Um, there's, I've got, like, one friend that... that ever played it and no one else knows what it is. So it'd be really interesting if any any of you in the comments ever played it, because, yeah, it's just... You, I'm hoping someone in the comments can confirm to me just how good it is. Um, go for these ones. Tears up. Experimental pill. Okay, another lockdown isn't, isn't particularly cash money. Um, but here we go. Do you know, I'm kind of thinking it'd be a good idea to go to the thingy floor, but we'd, we'd miss out on double items. Maybe not. <gasps> a key! Hell yes. Oh my god, the slippies. The slippies are getting to me, people. Okay, give me some luck up pennies. You know what? That, that's what I need. I need some luck up pennies. Right. Back to the shop. Oh man, yeah, that game is just amazing. Okay, well this is this is pretty good. Um and I think I'll just buy the soul heart. Okay, very, very glad that I made the effort for the shop there. This will give us four items to choose from, I'm pretty sure. Which is very good. And if we don't get a good item at this point, I'm gonna be a bit peeved. Technically, this is a good deal. Right. I'll be on my wayward son. I have not even done the boss yet. God damn it. Yeah, get corn mined, bitch. I'm just playing chicken with her and hoping I can get a freeze on him. Oh my lord. My items have just been... Dash. My god, they've been so bad. <laughs> uh, right. This could be where it all changes. Mr. Dolly's been stolen from me. That is devastating. What the fuck is this? I, 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 I can't even fathom how devastated I am right now with the quality of this run. Imagine all of your items being double Damocles style and still not having any good items apart from one devil deal. And I don't know, Snake's pretty good. Did you seriously just do that, Snake? You fucking coward. Also, this book's kind of trash too. It's okay, it gives you an item, but it only gives you it as a wisp for some reason. Which makes it a lot worse. Right. 
We're gonna keep this going, but there's gonna have to be a pretty a pretty big turnaround to make me even remotely enjoy this run. <laughs> right now, it's it's giving me every excuse to hate it. Every single excuse in the book to hate it. At least we got corn mines. I'm trying to think of any other, like, PS2 era games that are like that for me now. Where I just remember, like, no one else playing them, but, um, me really enjoying them. I do remember playing, it's not exactly an unknown game by any means, any stretch of the imagination, but I know it's a, a pretty disliked game. The, um, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, the one where you could, like, build cars and stuff. I know among the Banjo-Kazooie fans, it's, like, really not considered a very good game, but I, I hadn't played the other Banjo-Kazooies, and I absolutely loved that game. Absolutely loved it. I just love the idea of like building your own car and stuff and being able to like I, I've I've always like Ooh, jawbreaker. If we had luck that'd be good. Um I've always been really big into um into finding glitches and like out of map things and bugs. I don't know why, it just it just appeals to me. Um and I remember like in that game because you could like build your own cars and stuff. Right near the start of the game, there's a bit where you can like, if you build a car in a specific way, you can like double jump mantle, not mantle, but like double jump over onto this ledge to get into the sec like the second area of the game before you're meant to be there. So like none of the proper quests and stuff spawn, but it does allow you to do a few things early and get a few. I think it allows you to like unlock an ability before you're meant to have it. Um, and I remember finding that myself and being like, oh my god, this is amazing. Obviously, I went on like online a few years later, or many years later, to check if it was like part of the speedrun. And it was. Um, but I just thought, I thought it was really cool that I found that myself. And I, I really, really enjoy um, like bug hunting and glitch hunting. I just think it's so cool to be able to like sort of see behind the veil, behind the curtain of a game. And sort of see how it works. Oh, okay. That's, that's very nice. Got some more damage out of that. We are still looking for the elusive D100, though. I don't know why I did that. Yeah. The elusive D100. That will turn this run around. Or devastate me once again and leave me... Leave me crying. I don't want to be crying, but... I have a feeling the game's gonna... Throw me under the bus like that. Right, found our boss. Good, good. I'll just grab this penny real quick and grab the soul heart in here. Okay. I Like, being this far into the run, having nothing, like, well, one thing, Deus Custodian, is, is real bad. Oh, brownie. Okay, I got you, buddy. I got you. Oh, my God. Our uh, boss items have been so shit. <laughs> I do like a hero font. Converts all rocks, poops into pennies. That's pretty good. We got... Bombs will drop more often. I think I'm just going to take the Queen of Diamonds here. Oh, Lord. I, I need to do this. I need to do this. I just needed something good. Why is my tier size so fucking massive? Also, why is this one rotating around me? What's what's going on here? I'm very confused by this just absolutely enormous tier that we've got going around us here. Does anyone know what that's about? Anyone know what that's about? Oh, it's Snake. Snake's just gone buck wild. Strange. I didn't realize it'd do that. <laughs> it's it's rather visually distracting to say the least. Go sneaky boy. Increases tier size. Hell yes. <laughs> Don't think I won't. Don't threaten me with a good time game. Oh god, Brownie, no. Brownie, I need... Fuck you, Brownie. 
I was like, yes, let's get all these pennies. Then Brownie started making me slip everywhere and I missed most of them. Right. I'll be on my way with Sun once again. This has been fucking shocking. God damn. Please, game. Do not, under any circumstances, give us lump of coal. <laughs> it will... It will just fill the screen even more than you already have. My god. Right, we'll take that to the next floor. And we'll get out of here. Like, we're kind of hanging on by a thread right now. Like, our health isn't great. Uh, our items are a bit iffy. More fire rate gone. No! Snake! 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 <laughs> dun 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 Strength card. We'll grab that, I guess. Good old Metal Gear Solid. Right, what we got going on in here? Uh, corpse Flower is very good. We'll definitely take Corpse Flower. Everything else is, once again, utter garbage. Moon card, I'm just going to use. Thanks for the key. Thanks for the key. Do, 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 Ooh, a Libri. It's at least Bookworm, I'd hope. Booyah, baby. Okay. Gives a technology effect. Okay, this is some good stuff here. Um, Obviously, we probably want to take this. But this could also be fun. Does photo book do mom or dad item, isn't it? Boss papers. Okay. I'll take this, obviously. We are on Dank Depths 2, so we're not going to get a Devil Deal this floor, at least. This run's going better now. It's going better. I'm, feel I'm feeling more hopeful about the future. Damn, I just can't stop thinking about that game. Do you know? Ha it's fine to, like, to, like, watch other people's YouTube on your own channel, right? Like, I'm pretty sure that's okay. Like, other people do it. Because I just want to quickly, pe like, actually get up some gameplay of Fair Fighters just to, just, to, just to show people what the hell I'm talking about. There's a 100% walkthrough on YouTube? Hell yes. Or oh, someone also did a video, video revisiting it last year. Nice. Right, let's have a look at this. Oh my god, that's so loud. Calm down. Look at this. Look at this beautiful. Like, you get these little guns and stuff, and you yes. play as different characters, like Rufus here. And you collect these, you collect babies look up here. And there you go, you're playing as another one there. So that's one of the babies look. You give it, you give it a little jetpack. And you got like, power-ups and stuff. Oh, it's just, just perfection. Perfection in a game. <laughs> no, it's just, I, I've got strong nostalgia for it, that's clear. But I do remember it being a lot of fun. And I was a child, so maybe it wasn't. <laughs> maybe it was trash. But, I don't know. Then again, then again. I remember, uh, I remember somewhat recently, I say somewhat recently, it was probably like five or six years ago now when I was in university. Um, me and my friend were like looking through old games. Um, online, and one of the games I remember quite fondly from my childhood is a game um, called Simpsons uh, Skateboarding, which was just one of the many Simpsons like knockoffs, um, or, and it was like a Simpsons knockoff of Tony Hawk. I remember it being pretty fun. I remember enjoying it as a child. We we Google it and come to find that it's on it's on the Wikipedia list of like top twenty five worst games ever released, <laughs> and I was like, uh oh. I see. Uh, so, so maybe, just maybe, my rose-tinted glasses are giving me a slightly, slightly skewed view of what that game was actually like. But, I don't know. I remember it being good. Also, after this, I am going to go and watch that revisited video straight away. I want to I wanna watch someone play through that game because, oof. Like I said, I'm, I'm probably going to go on eBay and buy it, like, pretty soon after this, because I really want to play it again now that I've uh, unlocked that memory. Oh, I don't have any keys. What's going on with the no keys right now? I would like keys, game. I mean, I'm, I'm appreciative of the bombs from that card we got, but like, 
come on now. Fuck it, let's just go. Probably should have brought my strength card with me, but I forgot. <laughs> Trying to use little Abaddon where I can. He's pretty good. There you go. We got ourselves a tears up. Lovely. We are going dark path. Nice. And in here. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We have a god tier combo here. So, the corpse flower thing that we just got means that enemies get poisoned and produce blue flies. But, the star of the bottomless pit makes all blue flies into locusts. I think I saved Corpse Flower. I can't remember. I really hope I did. That's a god tier combo if I've ever seen one. Maybe it's pre coded to always produce blue flies, though. We'll see. No, it's not. Okay, it is, it is producing locusts. Good. Yeah, I don't think I actually um, saved Corpse Flower, though, so I might, I might lose Corpse Flower at some point. You know what the game's like to me? It'll remove it from me. At a moment's notice, whenever it can. Can these enemies stop being such pricks, please? Thank you. Also, when did our speed get so bad? I think I traded a good amount of my speed away at some point. There you go, explodey fly there. Hoping this is the right way to the boss, but you never really know with the womb. Not that I need the money, but I really like the Midas effect and the bleeding effect from um, Slick Spade. Slick Spade is just a very, very, very good item. So many status effects baked in. We ought to uh, grab that key, really. Damn, our tier size is uh, pretty wild. See, like, look at that. That's, that's so perfect. Just freezing. Right at the start of the room there. No problem. Easy bangers. I love the fact that it's just like, okay, we'll just make you pay for that now. Oh, what the fuck? Um, it's Death Touch. Wait. Surely it doesn't stack, right? I mean, it gives us more damage. I was maybe thinking it'd double our tier size again, which would have been hilarious. Um, that's why I took it. I also took it because I'm a nincompoop, but I also wanted more damage. Please don't take anything beautiful from me. Yes! Brownie's finally gone. It's the only thing it took. That's what I've been waiting for. Hanged man, I guess I could use somewhere. Oh, get off me, you big fat earth. Die already. No soul heart in sight. Okay. Stay away while he's frozen and bleeding. Good, -er, good, -er. Keep using our space bar and grabbing as many of the uh, charges as we can. <sighs> With this book, we should be relatively safe on this run. It's still a mess. Like, it's a lot better than it was, but this run's still a mess. I'm still not super confident. And I'm going to pretend that I am. I'm going to pretend that I am. Right, let's keep it going. I'm still really liking the fact that we got this trinket. I wish we had luck that actually made it better, but it being gold maybe doubles the base chance, so we're getting something going at least. Beautiful. I don't think I want to take an experimental pill right now. Don't think I want to spend my keys on that right now either. Um, little unfamiliar with how this room's meant to go right now. Okay, I think I see. I think I see. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh god, great! Didn't expect that. Hello, boss room. How art thou? What? Why? Why did that bomb end up behind me? In what world would that be what I wanted? Out of that. Let's 
It's kind of easier to dodge right here because the uh, the little boil ones don't explode really close to. Uh... Good stuff. We are going down. I'm yelling timber. Right, let's see what items we lose here. Should be nothing, right? Yeah, we don't lose anything. We didn't gain any items, so we don't lose any items. I think this character works really well in that regard. It's one of my favourite um, tainted characters. Hello, hello. See, like, this is a situation where I don't want to lose any items this floor. So there's just... Oh, I used fucking thingy by accident there. There's just absolutely no reason for me to take either of those. Because it just means I could lose other items that are better. So why bother? I still have Ouija board going, which is quite nice. Kind of forgot that we had that. Made our large tiers a lot more, um, a lot more usable. I think if we didn't have that, the large tiers would be uh, quite annoying. Liking the fact that we've got our space bar to generate some HP as well. It's lovely. Yeah, see, we were able to pass through the rooms pretty quick because of Ouija board. If we didn't have that, things would be going awry. Oh, fuck off, you big blue bastard. Okay. God damn, you are yeeting bombs all over the place, my guy. Yeeting bombs. Okay. Not too bad. The bleed is good. Sometimes we do, like, really low damage, and all of a sudden it seems like we kill them really fast. It's weird. Good charges there. Thank you for that. Y'all know I hate this bitch. My bombs again, going backwards. Gotta love it. Hey, you got a black eye out of it. Good, good, good. I very rarely get the Devil Deal or Angel item out of those bosses. Tower. Eh. Right, boss time. Three, two, one, and bomb. I still love that little taxi, even though it doesn't work as well with the modified version of this boss because he doesn't spawn with the explosive leeches. Still works reasonably well. <laughs> you are perished, my good guy. Yeah, I couldn't both feet stomped at the same time, and I couldn't really avoid that. Anyways, we're onto the last floor somehow, somewhere. Still got half decent HP. Nothing there's any use to us, I don't think. Okay, cool. What is going on here? Okay, you literally just walk straight through the middle. There's nothing going on there, essentially. It's like there's to be some sort of trap, and it's just like, nope. You just walk on through. Okay, there's our void. We've already done void on this character, so we don't need to worry about that. But yeah, again, we didn't lose any items for this floor, so we're good to just take anything we find. Although, with our luck, finding items is probably not going to be super likely. Oh, that was two very bad hits there. I'm not familiar with this guy yet. Two very, very bad hits. Right, back we go. Oh god. Wasn't expecting that. One last one. Gonna reveal yourself, sir? No? There you go. Don't need the key, really, I don't think. So don't have to worry about that. Ugh, 
Damn it. We need to like poison an enemy and just leave them poisoned so they can just generate a bunch of flies for us. Nothing's getting poisoned. Ow. Lost a lot of health here that I'm not particularly pleased about. Hopefully, we're still fine. But I can't say for sure. Okay. Boss has got to be very close here. Ooh, leave that for a second. This is going to be annoying. Can you jump over here for a minute so you can just get... Oh, what the fuck? He didn't even jump on me. You lying bastard. You lying bastard. He did not jump on me at all. You freak. Not even remotely how you're meant to work. Right, anyways, boss time. How, why did I... Oh my god. What the fuck is this attack pattern? How did I dodge that? Having a hard time right now. I'm liking the Midas freezing, that's very good. Just bomb the hell out of him, hope for the best. Okay, we got it, we got it, we're good. Oh my god, that was tricky. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'll see you guys in the next one.